My name is Ook. I'm 20 years old, and I had the bad fortune to live isolated for seven years because of blood feud and because the society I live in still relies on kanun. When you live inside four walls, every day feels the same. I don't know how long has it been that I have been doing this life. Actually, I do know, but I just don't want to think about that anymore. Feels like I'm living in a nightmare that is never ending. I am suffocating. Probably, I have forgotten what my town looks like. This apartment is my prison, and the judge that put me behind bars was my own father. Having tasted freedom as a child provided me with memories with which I have kept my hopes up. That maybe one day I will be able to run free again, like I used to. I was only 13 years old when everything happened. A child who did not even care about the problems that my family had with this other man for cases of profit. This problem had been going on for generations and was already part of our life. We would not talk and would despite the members of that other family. I once heard my uncle say that they were trying to steal a piece of our land or something. I did not understand then, but now I do. However, messed up the arguing got sometimes, I never thought that it could end like that. With a gunshot. My father had killed the other man. Since that day, I was doomed to live isolated behind locked, closed door. I could not go to school anymore or anywhere outside. So I spent most of my time studying by myself or reading books that would somehow allow my mind, if not my body, to run free in the real world. My soul ached each time I saw my friends playing outside. I blamed my family, society and everyone around me for what I was doomed to go through every day. I just wanted to be a kid like all the others in my village. Was that too much to ask? Meanwhile, I will keep writing in my dear diaries. I call them dear because I found consolation by writing in them. I know the majority of writings in them are sad things and sometimes I would like to throw them all in flames. But I won't. Because one day, when I will be free, I want to share my story. I want to go out there to make people read my feelings melted in ink. And maybe, just maybe, they will understand what growing under the shadow of death means for their children. Then, they will hopefully let go of their anger and forgive humbly as a human being is supposed to. <laughs>